Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. Okay, I've been meditating on it and your word of the day, well, words of the day that came up in my mind were electric dreams. All right, let's see where we go with this. Together in electric dreams, eh? I think this might be a twin flame reading. Looking up in the 5D, Leo. have a look all right we got fully out here please electric dreams bear in mind loves, these are general readings so it's not going to resonate with all of you but if it does take a look at the description box below there's a link to my patreon if you want to watch extended videos there's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading i only book private readings via my website you have to come to me if you want to book one and a legit one as well there's a lot of scammers out there so uh I'm not going to be up in your DMs or down there in the comments below saying, hey, do you want a reading? That's not me. That's somebody pretending to be me. So don't fall for it, my loves. you got to come to me. All right. Leo, electric dreams. What's going on in the 5D for Leo? It's twin flame, I feel. Bumps. Wow. Jesus. Sorry, guys. Pardon my blasphemy. Whoa. Okay. This is Twin Flame. You're you're really balancing yourself out, Leo. You know, you're really doing the healing that you needed to do. It's a constant thing though, healing, spiritual healing, healing the traumas of our life because life kind of keeps going so you know traumas keep freaking happening. It's a constant thing. I, I just saw a weird ghost black cat, well, that's cool, okay. Usually means good things in my family so well you know keep that, keep that in mind. I don't know, I have a black cat, but he's out. He's totally out. He's not in right now. I just fed him outside. Unless he came in through the kitchen window, which he's not able to do. I just, just saw one over there. You're you're doing the healing that you need to do. Your your divine counterpart is doing all the well, they're being very divine masculine, I'm afraid. They're they're putting it out there. They are, uh, they're playing the field and they're enjoying it. And, uh, they're not in this physical realm. They're not stable enough for you. They're not ready for you. They're, they're getting about their life and they're, uh, fooling around and being an idiot, Leo. It's been kind of heartbreaking for you. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Three of Swords came out. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse. They uh they are in a relationship with someone and they're they're sleeping around. This is not just you that they are hurting. There's there's somebody else. There's a karmic relationship. Queen of Queen of Wands in reverse. There's a karmic relationship. This person I don't feel like they're a bad person, but I feel like the traumas that they've had in their life make them want to uh, how do I put this? It's like sleeping around takes their mind off of it. 
was sleeping around uh, it's like a, a high for a second it it, it it puts them on a high it makes them feel like they're top of the world even if it's just for a minute and then and then they don't again there's a lot of healing they need to do And as this is your Divine Masculine, the more healing that you do, it, it's, you know, the universe gives them some of that. Because it's the other part of you. This being isn't separate from, separates from you. This is the other part of your soul. So the healing that you do goes to your higher self. And, uh... This person gets some of it. Yeah, it's a separate body, but not a separate soul. Anything else Leo needs to know right now? They're not in communication with you. Because of this person. You're what they want in their life, but um, <clears throat> I sort of feel like the bad person that they are, they, they feel like a bad person. They're afraid. They feel like they're a bad person. And they don't want to put that energy on you. They sort of feel like if they just ignore you and don't talk to you, you'll be better off without them. In this karmic relationship that they're not able to leave either. Why? They, they, they're going to leave it though. Weird. They are going to leave it. Tell me more. They are walking away from it. They're sort of evaluating things um duty has been one of the reasons why they haven't left they were trapped they're no longer in a healthy relationship a balanced one they're they're very out of whack with each other out of harmony what's coming up in the near future for leo That doesn't mean this person's moving in your direction. It means that they don't move in your direction after they split up with this person and that bothers you. That's kind of like, what? Why? It's torture for you. Best you can hope for. You're kind of moving into a better place in your life. That's good. You're doing the healing that you need to do. I saw that right from the start. They are not getting into a place where they need to be. This person uh, always seems to get themselves into very unhealthy, codependent relationships. That's their pattern. You, you healing yourself stops you getting into that pattern with them. Okay? You're moving at a, a difficult time. They're still, you know, as much as you're doing the healing and it heals them, they've still got a lot of work to do. They uh, have to grow the hell up and stop thinking that they can behave however they want. You're sort of stuck loving this person. They're in, stuck in an energy of uh, deception, lies and pretty much getting away with it. And the outcome I've got here for you is that every now and then they're gonna drop you a little line. How you doing there Leo? Just wanted to check in you on you. I'm 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 missing you. I was thinking about you. How you doing? And then you don't hear from them for like, I don't know, two years. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm I've got a I've got all these things like how the hell do you use these like in the 70s chicks were like 
whacking them in the hair and it was just like yeah that's totally awesome but like what how the hell do you do that it's it keeps coming out i'm like putting it in emmy that's tight and it was like five minutes ago <laughs> all right ten minutes ago it was just 10 10 on the clock there yeah we got this we got this it's it's in it's tight So yeah, if you're gonna like every now and then drop in, like how you doing, just to keep your attention. But they're putting their bit about, putting their end away, anywhere they can put it. And it's not fair. You have to sort of make a decision. Am I gonna keep letting them treat me like this? Or am I gonna keep walking along my own road now? It's It's difficult to move on from your twin flame and I actually don't particularly think that you should move on I think that you should get on with your life and not have them as a consideration that's not exactly moving on I don't think you ever can you know because it's your twin flame but you can sort of just put it to one side and be getting on with you and getting on with living and then see what happens, you know, that's you healing, that's you getting on with life. I'm going to take it to the extended where I'm going to ask how your twin flame feels about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. I'll even ask when are they when are they gonna to come towards you? But uh let's pull some oracle cards here. One more share. Communication is key. No beep, Sherlock. Communication is key. Yeah, all right. So, you know, I think you've been communicating. Oh, I'm picking something up here. I think you've been communicating your part. I think that perhaps you might need to stop directly communicating with this person. They're watching you and what you're doing online. So, you know. Show them how awesome your life is and how much fun you're having. And uh, you know, maybe dates that you're going on. Arctic monkeys, do I wanna know? Maybe I'm too busy being yours to fall for somebody new. Oh, how to inflame. Oh, nope, dropped it. Ah! Maybe I'm too busy <laughs> to fall for somebody new. So to inflame, honestly. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch Extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon, you'll find the video there. See you guys later.